Okay, so let's teleport to could end. I'm gonna drop four cannon ones on the floor because I'm about to go and try to kill Scott as a boss and I wanna have as much food as I can. Then you teleport back and just pick up the food that you dropped and as long as nobody else picked up, that's how you get full inventory. I know that most people know this already, but uh, wow, this is gonna be... I just watched my video how I was killing Scottizo and the guy can hit like 36 and I only fought him once so I have no idea what the tactics are. I know I'm risking everything I have. That's a great warning for a hardcore Iron Man. So yeah, before coming here I did use my battle axe and then I drank some attack potions and I drank some defense potions. The problem with that was that my magic went down so much that I couldn't teleport back to this place so I had to drink wizard mind bomb which reduced my strength and attack, so it's kind of like very weird effect that it had. Yes, I know that items dropped in the instance will be lost. Also, I know that I only have one chance. When I go here, the totem will be gone, so if I fail to kill this guy, uh, as far as I remember, all you do is just uh, pray melee and uh, instantly get hit quite... I don't like this. I have one chance. Okay, I need to eat. 27. Okay. I just pretty much failed. I pretty much um, underestimated this guy. The thing is that I tried to get a black demon task. Because you can kill this guy with a black demon and a greater demon task. So it's one of the few creatures where like two tasks work on. And I have no prayer. I didn't take prayer. <laughs> no, no. I mean no prayer potions. So that's... It's not necessarily a failed kill. Should I like walk him? I wonder if he can like do the some kind of weird attack when you walk under him. You know what I mean? So as far as I remember, just attack the eyes. Just, just hit 100. Okay, that's a very nice hit. Play magic as far as I know. This guy has a very slow attack speed though. If I had more prayer, look, you can just like attack and just walk back. So he's always like, you see that? He's not even doing anything for so long. I don't understand. Like, you could just always get hit by magic, and I just, okay. That's very scary when this happens. Wait, couldn't I just walk this guy like this, and wait until the HP bot goes down, like uh, on the Calphite Queen, attack him once, and go under him? That is a nice tactic to use, but again, I... I'm even failing at doing this, so not sure how the skill will go like. Okay, please tell me that I can teleport out of this place. Oh my god, I thought it gave some kind of error message in the chat. I was looking straight into the chat and it said something like it prevents you from fucking teleporting or something. Okay, I'm sorry. I failed. I forgot prayer potions. That was like the most... This is so stupid of me. It, how do you forget a, a prayer potion when you're going to kill a boss or something? That fucking totem took me 15 hours to get, so that's the only thing that I'm sad about. But I do have one more piece, so I need two more pieces and I will have a full totem again. If I take prayer potions, I should be able to kill the next one. You know, I said this already, but runecrafting is not my favorite skill. And whenever I do force myself to train it, I like to get into the rhythm. And then I just force myself to go for like a 3k, maybe 5k, 6k pure essence. But I, I don't want to do anything else. It's just like focus and don't, don't distract yourself. Don't look anywhere. Just focus on runecrafting. And whenever my runecrafting pouch degrades and I have to go to the abyss to fix it, that's where distractions comes in. And usually I say, you know, maybe it's enough of runecrafting today. I, I don't want to runecraft anymore. So I completed Lunar's Diplomacy quest. I actually had to get to level 60 mining because that's one of the requirements to start the quest. And yes, I have access to Lunar Spellbook now, which means I can use Contact NPC and you can contact the guy that fixes your runecrafting pouches. So whenever it breaks, all you have to do is just take some runes, takes like 20 seconds to fix your pouches and you can go back and, and runecraft. So while I was still in Lunar's Island, I thought I would complete Dream Mentor quest as well because it's like a very short quest, except uh, the comet was quite challenging. The Dreamy Lamp, what can I use it on? Can I use it? Oh, it's only combat skills. I, I'm just going to use it on hit points, I guess. It doesn't really matter as I don't have any low level combat stats. Okay, I want to show you something. So I crafted 6,000 cosmic runes, which will be enough to charge 2,000 fire orbs. By the way, I'm charging fire orbs because they give more magic experience than water, even though it's the same GP an hour, but this is slightly better. So whenever you're going through this place, there's going to be poison spiders. And that means you have to take anti-poison. If you don't take anti-poison, 
you will be interrupted if you're AFKing at fire orbs. Every time the damage hits you, you are no longer doing anything. So you need to take anti-poison. But there is this one item that not that many people know, which is called prayer book. You can recite prayer, and if you have holy symbol equipped on you, it will cleanse the poison most of the time. Very rarely, it will fail to do it. Okay, that's going to be enough for now. I'm not sure when I'm going to be using these fire orbs, but 2.1k took me like 4 hours. It's like 450 per hour. If I don't have like the, the good shortcut unlocked, so it takes me a little bit longer. But this should convert into almost 5 million gold. And I have 1 mil in my bank, so I should have 6 mil. And let's collect resources. What did I get? 3 bird nests, 1.4k tea clogs. That's a decent amount of herbs. This is around 450k used to get this many. 46 random weed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, very nice. This will definitely give me a few herb roll. I can't even pronounce it. Herb lore levels. 47 currently. So I'm going to go ahead and use these. Because I think I can make most of these potions. I can't believe how I went from 46 to level 53 Herblord. That is actually a very high number. I'm almost like one more level and I will be able to make super strength. Though Limforts are going to be hard to get without Kurasks. I do have lots of prey pots as well. I just made a... Now I could have collected Snape Grass at Lunar's Island. Because that would be like the best thing. You teleport to the island. You collect the Snape Grass. And then you teleport to something like Castle Wars Quickly Bank. And then teleport back to the Lunar's Isle. Well in this case I collected them in Zia. It's obviously not as good. But when you only need to make 100 potions or so. Consider this as alternative method. Yeah, so all I've been doing for the past two or three days was collecting pure essence and making them into cosmic runes, then making these fire orbs, charging these fire orbs, and finally now I'm trying to attach them. And even now I only have like 2,000. Initial goal was to get 4,000 of them, but that's not going to happen. So when you're doing something like this activity, there's really not much footage that you can, you know, make out of it. Like, I didn't really like this video, that, that, this specific video. But again, is, I didn't do anything in RuneScape. When you're doing this, what is this? Like one minute of footage, two minutes of footage, and that's it. But you have to do this. Uh, RuneScape GP is very necessary. If you can get a lot of it, there's just so much that you can do. You know, you can level up smithing, you can level up construction, all, all kinds of stuff. I guess I should... Um, the next video should be better, okay? I, I have a plan, I have an actual goal that I want to complete, so thank you for watching this video. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you in two days probably because it's a longer goal again, but I'll see you.